Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review on this Quickie golf cart. I've had this for about two weeks and I'm coming from a cricket. So I just wanna compare the two and talk about issues I've seen with it. Um, you know, the reason I got this mainly was the price. Uh, this had slightly larger wheels and tire setup than the Cricut. And it was just a real affordable price shipped here to Virginia from Texas, $5,500. Um, I didn't realize at the time that Cricut could give you a larger tire on theirs. And maybe I should have went with that. Another benefit to the Quickie is you see this looks more like a club car or the Cricut has the battery box and then fenders. Uh, they redesigned this and the seat, and apparently the seat is um, a decent bit wider uh, than the Cricut. So that is helpful when you have a passenger up here. Uh, what else? I guess you would say it comes fully loaded um, where you have to option things out on the Cricut. Uh, there are things you get the blinkers and the horn, everything, and it actually has an alarm as well. Uh, one issue I see is everything just makes a ton of noise. So if I turn it on, I'm just gonna turn the blinker on, super loud, reverse, super loud. Um, so I added a toggle switch to mine to shut all that off, because just, annoys the neighbors every morning when I jump on this thing. Um, one benef another benefit over the Cricut is if you see you have these two rods and then this guide in the center. So this is much the collapsing system on this is much more robust uh, than the uh, Cricut. Uh, another feature that I was really interested in is they had one that was non-collapsible. They advertised it on their website, but they had none available when I called. And you can see this aluminum frame would have continued all the way down. I just needed something more narrow, uh, not collapsible. So I think that would have been really cool. Um, so yeah, in case you don't know, this is collapsible, just like uh, the Cricut seat comes off. Uh, the steering wheel comes off and this part uh, moves away and it collapses in really nicely. Another issue, um, you know, it, it seems fine on power once you're going. Um, it does 13 miles an hour, but compared to the Cricut, it does not seem to be able to climb hills. Uh, it, it struggles on steep hills and you're thinking, why would you take it on a steep hill? Um, the practical purpose is a ramp. So I've heard of people with quick uh, quickies putting it on the back of their truck and they struggle to do so. So that is a big deal, uh, especially with quickie advertising a more powerful motor. Now, I don't know if that's just the controller being too cautious and not trying to break the driveline components, but uh, yeah, that is an issue. Another issue. The squeaks, man, I drive this thing around. It just squeaks, squeak, 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 squeak. Super annoying. I'm definitely getting a lot of weird noise from the hub. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is there's a hub adapter. You have the axle that comes out. Let's see if I can show it to you. And you have this adapter. goes to make it a four lug. I think a lot of noise is coming from that. I almost want to switch over, maybe get some cricket wheels or lawnmower wheels. Another issue I'm seeing is you see where the shock is attached. You see this is bent over and, and everywhere the shocks are tied in in all you know eight places uh, for the four shocks it's all like this. It's, it's almost like there was supposed to be some kind of polyurethane washer on both sides of this, but instead they just bent this tab in and that's done yeah, all over the golf cart. And, and they 
definitely have a, a weird lean to them. And the whole golf cart has a lean to the left. And that's, and, and I have adjusted uh, the suspension and, and, and stiffened the spring rate on the left side to compensate that, but still uh, does not work. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, it works. Uh, my neighbors are like, why does your golf cart sound so bad? What's wrong with it? Um, you know, it's an electric vehicle, but you're not sneaking up on anybody because you sound like a clown pulling up because all the squeaks and rattles. So, I mean, it's getting me where I need to go. I take my dogs on golf cart rides four times a day, but um, I expect a little bit more. I mean, you can just see even this thing is, does not look straight at all. Actually, this was bent in. This is flops around, but it cuts into this um, boot housing. So this is the bumper. This is gonna protect you right here. <laughs> well, there's the quickie. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.